Hi, I'm Nancy J. with the celebrity spotlight on Puss in Boots. Made famous by his pal Shrek's movies, this swashbuckling cat now demands center stage, along with his feline friend, Kitty Softpaws. So let's kibble with the stars, Antonio Banderas and Selma Hayek. We try to provide them with personalities and to make them, you know, different from each other. That's the whole secret. It's the secret of telling stories, the secret of just uh, uh, making dramatic stories just working, you know, work. But I, I do feel that there's definitely a catitude in my character and that there's a lot of go. cat humor in the movie, which cat lovers will adore, but dog lovers will adore too. Absolutely. And, and, and elephant uh, lovers too. Yes, yes. yes. And snake uh, <laughs> trainers, how do you say, snake charmers. <laughs> snake charmers, too. yes. Well, no, it, there is, there's something for everyone and it's fun and what I like is, this is your fifth movie together, right? Six. six. This is your sixth. Yeah, but there's a bunch Some of, of them. Are just little it sounds cameos. impressive, but there's a bunch of. Most of them are just little cameos. But you did again. When there's a little bit of a send up to Once Upon, it was the the whole Desperado and Banditos and your guitar. I mean, so there was kind of some fun stuff that if we know your history together. Yes. That was kind of fun. Was that already in the script, or did you kind of? Yeah, they, they just put a lot of uh, things that we have done, uh, a lot of uh, things that we are. They, they uh, actually didn't, in my particular case, I can feel it in the script because uh, we get to know each other very well. I am talking about the creative people, and, you know, script writers and cartoonists and everybody who is behind the cameras, if you may say, in this movie. And they start knowing you, so they start adding things that they know that you have into the character. So, as I, we said before, it gives you the possibility of laughing a little bit of yourself, which is very healthy. For me, this is redemption, this movie, because oh. even though we've worked together and I've had some great characters, they're always the dumbest, you know, in Desperado, I'm the dumbest alien district, he comes and saves me, and once upon a time in Mexico, I'm dead, they kill me in that one. She took a bullet out of my shoulder, okay, actually. Okay, so I'm, most of the time, I'm a ghost in that one. So in this one, I am an equal partner. Say it. Yes, I am a thief, but I am yeah, the are. best thief that has ever been. And, and uh, a traitor, a little bit. Listen. Th that's up Just for this question, okay? okay? <laughs> but I, I think these characters are a lot stronger, so I'm really happy I got this cat. <laughs> but the interesting part about the movie, too, is this almost wasn't supposed to be, was it? Wasn't Puss in Boots just a little teeny tiny character in Shrek and that was. was gonna be it? He was. That's what I thought it was going to be, but... Um... And then he calls me a thief. He oh. stole those movies, and then he calls me a, a thief. It was involuntarily. Thank you very much. No, it was at the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, watching um, uh, Shrek 2 in front of all the intellectuality of Europe, the suddenly <laughs> this little cat kind of again stole the whole show. I remember people stopping like 12 times for applauding in the movie and he got like six of those applauses. <laughs> and so at the end, that night we went for dinner and Jeffrey took me aside and says, you know, I think the character got a lot of potential, man. And so we may just start thinking in the possibility in the future, you know, nothing now, but uh, to just to make a spin off with him and just make this character a star. Murderous outlaws have discovered an ancient power. With it, they can destroy the world. Boss, can you help us? There's no time to waste. We'll do it. Puss! Humpty Alexander Dumpty. We're going to need her. She's Kitty Softballs. I'll steal you blind, and you'll never even know I was there. She is a bad kitty. When the world is in danger, only one hero... Puss, watch out! ...has what it takes. No! Holy free holies. <laughs> to fill these boots. No! That's a lot of heel for a guy, don't you think? Nine lives. Arrest them! You got any idea what they do to eggs in prison? I'll tell you this. It ain't over easy. Oh. One destiny. My name would become legend.
<laughs> DreamWorks Puss in Boots. Are you cat people? Do you like cats? I mean, I, I know like now you do. <laughs> no, no, I, I've always had have cats, but I've always had more dogs than cats. But I have so many animals. I have, I rescue horses, cats, dogs. I have four alpacas. I have guinea pigs, ducklings, every chickens. Wow. So. Did you know that? Yeah, he it's knows. Um, he has an even weirder story. Just wait. Yeah, my, my story. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I have cats and dogs, obviously, in my, my houses. But um, um, my mother-in-law, I mean, mothers-in-law, normally they have a, a little doggy, you know, that is you know, nice and cute. My mother-in-law has 72 lions um, in a ranch, one hour and 25 minutes north of California. She rescued those animals. Uh, and she has been doing that for a long time. Actually, was Melanie was raised uh, among lions and tigers, which says a lot about our relationship. That's, and that's why it works. <laughs> why not? It may be. He is one cool cat. Look for Puss in Boots in your real-time theater.